Hi everybody, Mike here from Hebden Photography, back once again, this time with an image sent in by, uh, <laughs> through my Facebook fan page, from Vedant. I think that's how you pronounce his name, Vedant Makwana. Vedant uh, had a problem. He has a photo, or has a series of photos, where he uh, was posing with a number of people, possibly members of his family, in outside and uh, these uh, well one of the photos this one here he's got his eyes closed now sometimes I mean when you're dealing with uh, professional photographers you c I can give advice on how to reshoot a photo but here this is quite possibly a photo that can't be reshot if you've had an issue like this um, where there isn't within this batch of photos there isn't another photo of him standing with that person alone in that way so anyway we're going to open up the eyes here what i like to do is i asked feden to send uh, me the photo that had a problem and as well as any other photos that were shot of him at at around the same time he was fantastic and he sent me these five images and allowed us to use them. So what I'm going to do is take these. I've selected them all, which you can do by selecting one on this side, holding the shift key and selecting the other one, and then they're all selected here. What I'm going to do is go up to Photo in Lightroom, down to Edit in, and open as Players in Photoshop. What I want to do is try and look through these photos just by turning the layers off and see if I can find okay so here's our photo with the closed eyes he's named that closed one and I'm going to put that on the top for now and remove it pardon me uh, just turn it off for a sec and go through these pictures to try and find what I'm looking at here is the difference here in his face and here is pretty strong the lighting is completely different we can see the, a lot of high lights on the face here so the skin doesn't really match up very well this well, that one does but it's a much larger photo than the one we're dealing with these two I think will work just fine okay looking at the eyes and the glasses I think we'll be able to do this so what I'm gonna do is I will remove these photos here because I've chosen the two that I want to work with you could turn them off or you could leave them in there it's just my personal way of dealing with things now what I want to do this is fantastic I'm gonna take a selection of Vedant's who I'm assuming is Vedant Vedant's face here with my lasso tool which is right up here and then I will hit pardon me with the layer selected that was close with the layer I'm working on selected I'll hit control J and here we are with a copy of Vedant's face and only his face well a bit of surrounding stuff but copy of that face that we can now take and uh, move around I'm gonna move this layer up so that it's in front and you can see what's happened already I'm gonna move his face right over there there we're done that looks pretty good doesn't it we didn't wouldn't be very happy <laughs> okay so here's what what I want to do first I want to reduce the opacity so I can sort of see through the face but I can still tell where it is glasses are perfect for this kind of um, retouch that we're doing because it really help us line things up and I will take this point on the glasses if you can still see that and try and line it up with this point here there we are so I've done that you can tell I mean that this is a very two very different size heads we're working with but we can fix that control T is transform and what I can do by holding the shift key I can grab this little set of 
this little corner up here and shrink down. Holding the shift key will keep um, everything in, in, in perspective. So you have to hold the shift key down because if you don't, then you could move it this way and become a skinny and uh, now this just changes the shape of the head which is no good at all. So holding the shift key I'm shrinking this down to about the size as close to the size as I can get it and again I'm using these glasses as a point of reference. Here we are I'm going to take because I've lined up these two points pretty well I'm going to take this little point in the center you just grab it and you can drag it around that's your anchor point for this box I'm going to put it on that point that I've lined up with the glasses and now I can rotate this picture but I'm rotating it right around that point right there so I can even further line up these glasses holding shift again I can drag this out to size it there we are I think that's probably pretty good I'll say yes to commit that now it's not perfect and that's okay that it's not perfect what I'm going to do is bring the opacity back up to 100% you can see already. I mean, the skin tone's different. It's not perfect, but what we're going to do is create a mask for this layer. At the Add Layer Mask button, click it, and we've added a mask to this layer. Now, let's start working. What I want to do first off, I've zoomed in just so that I can see a little better, so you can see what I'm doing a little better. If I hit Control I, that covers this all up. This now is uh, hidden underneath this mask. I'm going to take my brush, painting with white at 100% opacity. This is a nice soft brush. I got a hardness of zero. And I'm going to try this and just paint over his eyes. Ready? There we go. There we are. Now, this might. Be enough for us. This may actually work out just great. Now there is a little bit of difference in the skin tone and what I can do for that is I can create a curves layer just by clicking up here on the curves layer and that'll bring in a curves layer but I only want it to be um, involve the eyes that we've just made. So I'm going to hold down the alt key and you see what happens when I hold down. I'm going to go Alt and go between the two layers and then click and it creates a link. This little arrow would suggest that all the effects that are done in this layer will only affect the layer below. It won't affect these ones here. So now when I change the curves, it's just for the eyes that we've added. You can see way up and down. It's purely just for the eyes that we've added. And I just bring it up a little bit to try and match it a little better with the skin that we had. And I think if we were to take that down, we can see we have successfully opened up uh, Veden size here. And, uh, and, and I think that's really good because, you know, now Veden's got a picture that he could keep of this, um, this moment to remember. I'll go over here to flatten my image and then I'll crop out because we've got the other image behind it. I'm just going to crop out that other image. Say okay. And there we are. That's a brand new image. Um, I will save that and send that off to Vedant right now. Hopefully you learned something. Bye everybody. Have a great day.